So the expectation on getting a native tier 2 character that costs you 8000 carbonatium to tier 4 is really high, but this is the reality I just faced. Hello gang, welcome to the channel and today we're gonna go through the tier 4 I just did on the last live stream and it's Gladiator. Took me around 7500 to 8000 carbonadium in total and he was really expensive. I was expecting from him uh, to do some specific stuff and I'm gonna show you here my experience with him as a tier 4 comparing him with my Thor score and my Black Panther score for ABX and AB, ABL for Thor and ABX for Black Panther and I also tried to use him on GBR uh, with a disadvantage against uh, Dormammu and also for ABX with an another team up uh, tag play with hope or not tag play with hope I'm gonna show you the rotation I figure out it's the proper to use I did train myself during live stream people was helping me and yes it ended up being super cool and I'm having really good results with him I'm gonna show you what scores I did first of all we're gonna go through the build but there is another issue around that I want to discuss and that's how dirty they went with Ronan uh, I'm gonna tell you about that but yeah before we go through the gameplay and show you uh, the results I had and the rotations and all this stuff I want you to make sure that you have smashed the like button subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell and let me know down below in the comments what are you going to do with this bad boy? Are you going to tier for him? Are you going to wait? My advice for everyone is to wait, of course, because the tier 4 game mode is supposed to be around the corner. So yeah, you don't want to miss the opportunity to do the proper tier 4 for the new game mode and having you know something that it's already on so in my opinion just wait for anything you are planning for so let's go and check out the thing that i was talking about uh with ronan uh they drop ronan i haven't done a review on him but pretty much the passive ability he has through his uniform supports all the universal allies with an extra buff this buff can't be passed to Gladiator through the ABL day, so uh, this character ends up not being a support for Gladiator. However, because his new uniform, as you can see, you can't use his leadership also. But what I was saying, however, however because his new uniform transformed him into a hero, you can use him uh, in this day, pair with your gladiator and take advantage of his artifact. So, that's a long shot, yeah, keep it, keep it, keep here, keep here. Uh, the, the, the thing is that if you have his artifact, his artifact is not supporting only universals. His artifact also supporting all the group and all heroes, as you can see here. So, if you have his artifact and his last uniform, you can use him as a support for Gladiator and for every character. But because his support is only for Odin or Thor, you can understand that because Gladiator was really close the damage he was doing on ABL with Odin, now Odin is out DPSing probably Gladiator. So Gladiator is not probably even the number one character for this day. But I did him either way. Uh, because I was already had uh, start his gears, so it was kind of tricky having a character being meta for just a couple of weeks and after dropping a character that can support only his enemy, you know, uh, the, the competitor for this day, Odin. So yeah, I have seen people doing more with Odin after the update and we took Ronan, so you need to consider that uh, Gladiator is not the number one right now for ABL, it's close actually, they're really close with Odin, but it feels like uh, this thing here uh, trick him and trick us dirty, played dirty on us, net marble. So yeah, so the one point is this. The other point is that Gladiator does not have uh, a silence effect like uh, uh, Ghost Panther has on his, um, not Ghost Panther, Black Panther has on his fourth skill so he can't cancel himself and because of that you need to use as a striker as a striker 
a character having silence like Luna Snow or else you need to slap into the ABX team a silence character like Hope Summers. But let's start from somewhere and let's start from his performance on ABX. So for ABX, the rotation, it's pretty much the same with ABL. You're starting with your fifth skill, delay cancel for one millisecond or something and after canceling into your third skill and into your fourth skill. The point here is that uh, the really hard thing actually is to delay the fifth skill until the fifth skill drop damage and also transfer the buff through your uh, proc into your fourth skill. So you're doing the fifth skill, delay cancel a bit, fast three, cancel into four. In the first rotation, you saw me using my first skill because you wanna do that to charge your tier three faster and line up your Mighty Rage proc with your normal proc. I have a Mighty Rage, I didn't actually show you my build, uh, but yes, let's, let's see that in the end. So in between the rotations, we are doing the five delay cancel, three cancel, four. When you have your tier three, you wanna press your second skill really fast and do your tier three until you have your fifth skill ready. When you have your Hope Summers, uh, when you have to do the cancelling, because Ghost Rider as a striker seems to be way better than using anyone else to do the silence, you want to use your Hope Summers to do the cancelling. Hope Summers doing the cancel with your, your third skill or your first skill, but my advice is to use your rotation uh, doing 6, cancel 5, cancel 3, delay cancel 2, delay cancel 4, really fast, let your fourth skill play and after press your first skill with your hope as I did before to cancel uh, the silence. As you can see his rotation it's pretty solid and you can stay there and do it. Look at this. 5, cancel 3, cancel 2, cancel 4. Letting the fourth skill play until you canceling into your first skill and with your first skill you're doing the cancelling as I was saying you with hope. Now as soon as Gladiator is ready I'm swapping again into him doing the 5 cancel 3 cancel 4. Of course the runs are not perfect and I had like one and a half day to practice from the moment I dropped the live stream and I did him tier 4 until now you know it's less than two days so yeah for sure my score is going to be increased, but I'm gonna show you what I'm able to pull out with my Black Panther or without swapping into Hope Summers. You need to consider that using Hope Summers here to do the cancelling, uh, you know, means that you have built your Hope Summers in a level that she has Mighty Raid, she has Odin's Blessing, you have her Artifact. Here I lost a ton of damage because uh, my phone froze for some reason. So yeah, it's it's not the perfect run, 100%. But the point is that the rotation, it's the thing I'm doing right now. You need to do five cancel into three, really delaying, but really fast also, delaying a bit, one second. And you can see here, I pulled out 15 million with a lot of mistakes, 100%, I could do it better. But the point of uh, this here, it's to show you what I was able to do with similar run, uh, but playing solo and having Luna at, uh, you know, as a striker. Luna provides you the silence. Uh, so you can see here, I was on the first roar here, I was at 8.5. Uh, with my uh, swapping solo, I was at uh, 8.7. 9 million actually, 9 million. Well, when I was doing the cancelling in the in the thing that I was doing it with Hope, I was at 9 million. Doing it with Gladiator, I was 8.5. But the point is that with the solo run, I end up doing a bit more. Uh, it's 15.01 compared to 15.02. So I did 200,000 uh, more with Luna and perhaps this is, you know, my skill issue. I could play better with Hope, I could play better with Gladiator and I have seen players saying, reporting that swap play is better, generally speaking. But you have to consider that depending on the build you have on Hope Summers, this is true. My Luna Snow, it's really busted. I have my Luna Snow with a brilliant rage and as a striker, she's not that good compared to Ghost Rider, but still, you know, staying into the plan and playing with my Gladiator 
feels like I would perform better compared to swapping into Hope Summer. So if you rust and did tier 4 Gladiator and you have Hope Summers, do yourself a break, you know, from swapping characters, doing all the Timmy Tangles and try straight up with Luna Snow, I end up doing more. Even if I know that this is not the proper way to go, I believe that my Hope Summers is not that build and my skill on here is not that good that swapping into here, it's kind of make my performance worse than just playing straight up without Ghost Rider. But generally speaking, Ghost Rider and Hope Summer supposed to be the best for this run. Now, for the Black Panther ABX, what I end up doing, uh, it's not like the perfect run, of course. I used uh, Mubaku and Valkyr, the same supports I used uh, using Gladiator with Hope Summers. Hope Summers does not provide any buff, but Mubaku and Valkyr provide double buff and also artifact support, so they are giving you way more on any character. And Gladiator has on and Black Panther has on his kit the silence, so I can do 14 million with my Black Panther. I have done 14.6, 14.7 in the very best runs I've ever done. But yeah, I'm gonna show you the builds. But here I am plus 1.2 million already with my Gladiator. So let's start evaluating my choice to do him tier 4. And of course you have to consider that I told you in the start, it's just my second day, I could get better with him 100%. So let's go into ABL and the same thing uh, on his, you know, same thing. Let's see how I play with him and also compare his damage with my Thor's performance. So the best character to use as a third character is Starlord because Starlord actually striking when you are doing damage and uh, compared to others like Thor who is doing damage when you're using uh, when you're getting damage. So because of that Starlord is a better striker to use. Also I'm using better rebuild because he has a generally support for everyone as you know. So with his last uniform with his latest uniform. Here, as you can see, the moment I see the text of Surtur doing uh, the roar, I'm doing my rotation. You can use your third skill before the roar pops out and the, you know, and the snare is going to happen from the third skill. So you don't need to wait uh, a lot. You can start the moment you see the text. Uh, here, as you can see, I'm doing exactly the same rotation. As I told you before, if I had Ronan's artifact, 4 star and a boob, I could use Ronan instead of Star Lord and getting advantage of an extra buff from the artifact. But in this case, I don't have uh, artifact, I don't have artifact for Ronan, so Star Lord doing the striking is a better choice for me. Here I did a mistake getting the Odin Force way faster than I should get it. But the point with Gladiator in my mind is starting skipping a tier 3 rotation, starting your rotation with 5 delay cancel 3, delay cancel uh, 5 delay cancel 3 cancel 4, letting the fourth play the fourth play and after 2 cancel 6, delay cancel on your, your sixth skill until you see your fifth skill be ready and go through another rotation. But you should start with having your tier 3 ready and doing your non tier 3 rotation. With this way, you can slap into three rotations of his normal rotation, five delay cancel, three cancel, four, or else with two tier three rotation, you're not getting that much damage. So I think I managed to do the proper way into the second Odin, Odin Smite buff. Uh, here, as you can see, I am doing the rotation. I'm waiting my fourth skill to play until the end, until the moment I spit the beam and going through my normal rotation. I think I did proper on the last run, but let me see here if I managed to delay it. Yes, here I didn't use my tier 3 as you can see. I'm waiting to get the Odin Smite, go do 5, delay cancel 3, 4, wait for the 4th skill to drop and getting my tier 3 ready, letting the tier 3 pop out and after use my normal rotation. And now I'm going to be able to have another normal rotation here in the end. And that's how you're supposed to push more score. So for sure, I could hit 10 million if I had to, if I have done the same thing on the first Odin's Might. 
but here is an average score i was getting 9.5 to 10 million was the scores i was getting but here i had this situation in the end uh that i had record and i want to show you so you can know how to start the audience mic so you're seeing 9.6 tier 4 native tier 2 character uh yeah what build is this how you did 9.6 is this a lot is this less than i thought yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you later on. But let me show you what my build, uh, what my run with Thor. With Thor, I used to get six point seven to seven point two before. Uh, actually, six point five to seven million with my Thor. Uh, before we had the better ray builds and the Ronans. Now with Ronans and better ray build, I managed to get seven point two. But it was a really you know medium run i could get in my mind close to 8 million so the best run i've ever done with my thor before that was like 7.2 already the two buffs didn't you know didn't i didn't get any increase on my score had to do with my gameplay have to do the, with the build of thor that i did put out some audience blessing and stuff but yes 7.2 compared to 9.6 for me it's an upgrade but the point is that I'm not getting the 10 million reward or the 12 million reward. And if I get the 10 million reward with my gladiator, I have to speed blood in my mind. So let me fast forward into the, the builds and after let's go into the GBR. My Black Panther looks like that. He has uh, these stats here. Okay, let's swap him from leadership because increases the stats of the others. 93,000 physical attack. I have a lot of all this blessing. Oh, it's actually full of no, it's not full, but it's close to full. Four star artifact, mighty raids, mythic uniform. Uh, that's the build of Black Panther. The build of Thor, it looks like that. Full of this blessing, actually. Four star artifact, mighty raids again, mythic uh, 9.6 energy, 9.6 thousand. 96,000 actually uh, energy attack and the build I have on my gladiator looks like that 9.3, 93,000, 93 so they have equal physical attack gladiator and black panther but in the same time for gladiator I miss most of Odin's blessing I don't have a lot of Odin's blessing and also I have four star as with the others mighty raids mythic so their builds are kind of equal but it's in favor of Thor and Black Panther. I miss a lot of all this blessing with my Gladiator. I could improve my score, but at the moment I didn't get any reward. Do I feel bad about that? Yeah, I feel meh. I feel like, you know, Netmarble did dirty on me and it's uh, one of the traps I used to get into. But to be honest, you know what? It's not a trap. It's like, uh, it's me being... Um, you know, noob and don't have the skill to play proper with Gladiator right now. I can accept that, you know, it's something that I have faced it already with Dr. Octopus. I start doing like 10.2, uh, 10.1 and I end up doing 11.5 right now with my Dr. Octopus. So I feel like I'm going to increase my score with Gladiator. But in the same time, I don't feel like I took a huge score, you know. 1 million for combat hero, 1.2 and 2.5 for one day of ABL without getting any rewards at the moment, it's not a win. But uh, it's an increase on our score generally, you know, in our alliance uh, that we want to push on uh, scores for alliance tournament. But yeah, here actually I'm using wrong uh, gladiator for uh, GBR, I know that, I have knowledge that you should cancel your 4th skill into your 5th skill. For GBR and for World Boss Legend, it's not the same rotation that you're doing for ABX and ABL. Your uh, tier 3 skill has a lot of damage for World Boss and for GBR, you should let your uh, your tier 3 skill plays after your 4th skill. And you can see here we have 11 bars worth of damage and I'm gonna do a really good tier 3 skill here and I'm gonna end up deleting 9 bars which is really nice for, a, you know, it's a day that uh, as you can see here, uh, boss was blast type, I was combat type and I end up doing uh, you know, having 1 minute and 40 seconds into the fight. Is this impressive? I mean, 
for the combo types, yes, in my mind, he's the best combo type for GBR right now. Uh, but yes, who needs characters for GBR these days? You know, a lot of people has their universals, their blast types, and they're used a lot for a for GBR. So yeah, I, I'm not 100% what I'm feeling. I feel like he is so beautiful that I did I did him uh, from one point because of his mohawk and because he looks like Superman and because he's so cool. Uh, but from the other side, it's actually an increase on my account and I'm getting more and more PV tier force, you know. Uh, but yeah, I need, I need to step up on my gameplay and I need to do even more later on to get the maximum value out of him. And of course, giving Ronan's an artifact could increase my score, giving him more Odin's Blessing. Uh, but yes, I'm not gonna consider giving him Brilliant Rage 100%. I've seen people doing like 1.5, 1.3 uh, more uh, compared to Mighty to Brilliant, but at the moment I need at least to hit 10 million to be cool with me and start going to invest more and build him even further. That was it at the moment. In my mind, he's cool, but it's a small increase. If you already have tier force for your, uh, you know, ABL and TBX. Build him in your own responsibility and yes, of course, he has some value for Alliance Conquest also. I've seen people doing miracles with him, but still, I feel like his value, it's not even in World Boss Legend. It's only ABX and ABL and the Net Marble did dirt on him, dropping Ronan, who is increasing Odin's performance and also didn't give him silence for this day. Yeah, let me know your own experience with Gladiator or what are you going to do with him. That's my opinion at the moment. Don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe to the channel and see you into the next. Hope you enjoyed. Kisses in your faces.